Alrighty, well welcome back everybody. So this video is going to be a quick little update. We are actually in Florida with, look at this sunset. Not the best I've ever seen, but I mean it was 85 degrees today and we went swimming and everything. So we were going to... It's hot tub, it's actually working. Yeah, we had our nice chair set up that we were going to sit in. However, <laughs> baby doll's in one of them and Carly's in the other. So, but, so... I'm going to show you the damage on the RV, but this trip back to Ohio, we didn't plan it and we broke all of our travel rules. No, we planned going back home to see family for Christmas. We did, but it was that. It the, was the timing yeah. that was the issue because like, we got sick. Well, and originally we were going to leave the RV and then we decided to take the RV and we were going to leave the RV in Florida, I mean. And then we decided to take the RV last minute and we broke all of our travel rules, driving way too many miles at once. Not we planning. Completely exhausted. We didn't have two drivers. We better drive the car back. Yeah, because the car had to go back because we couldn't store it. There was no place that we could store it that we found, and like we were driving five or six hundred miles in a day, which we don't drive more than two fifty. No. And we, we. While we were still sick. Yeah, while we were all sick, the whole family was sick with whatever's going around, whatever crap's going around right now that everyone's getting, and. Now to be fair, if it hadn't been Christmas. We would have a delayed it if we were sick. B, we would have delayed, gave us, or gave ourselves more time. Um, but because we were, it was Christmas. We wanted her to be home for like our families on Christmas morning. And we did delay it one day. We were gonna go, which ended up being a big mistake. We were gonna go the twenty first of December back towards Ohio. We ended up leaving the twenty second, and got stuck in about three and a half hours of traffic leaving Orlando. But we ended up having a huge amount of traffic on, it was a Friday before Christmas. And then the next day is when we had our tire explosion that damaged the trailer. And then we spent the entire day in the tire shop getting new Which tires. They were phenomenal, by the way. Yeah, they were good. Discount tire in Gainesville. We so, haven't seen a discount tire that we haven't liked so far. Well, the funny thing is, is we had two days and we didn't even leave Florida. Two days yeah. of driving and we still hadn't left Florida. We were in Gainesville. Which does a lot to your mental health yeah. and de degradation. We spent, what, almost four hours in the car on Friday, the day we left. And didn't even move. And went about an hour and a half. Outside of Orlando. So, and then the next day, 45 minutes into our drive, the tire exploded. Yep. So, and then, yeah, so either way, for to the people who can do the no reservation thing and wing it, Kudos to you because you guys we are cannot amazing do it. And we love you for it. Maybe give us some tips, but we, clearly it didn't work for us. We plan everything. How we travel has always been the way we travel is we plan everything. And we broke all of the rules. So yeah, that was not a good trip. Again, but. had it not been Christmas, we wouldn't have broken any of the rules, but since we were trying to get there so quickly. And our families would have understood yeah. too, but it was more like the internal guilt you have about not being there for the holidays and seeing family, that's kind of what won over. But we're back in Florida, obviously, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of new content because we're gonna be changing the way we're doing our videos a little bit. We got a new camera, hopefully this is good, but- I can um, actually see myself in your shot now. Yeah, we have a Canon EOS R50, and we filmed one video with it yesterday, the I first video. I will be in them more. Yeah, we're gonna have the whole family in the videos more. We're gonna be showing more of our daily life. More of, we're gonna be more real time. More Franklin and Bailey shots. And if you noticed, I dumped like 10 videos in the course of two weeks because we wanted to get caught up and get more real time. Now we're not gonna be like, the day after it's going to be no, a and it small probably, it delay. may not even be like the campground we're in at that time either it's more so like the area we're in yeah. at the time as in like you'll know okay we're probably in central florida area if we're posting from orlando yeah we're probably in that area but it's not going to be a we want to be hey we're at this campground <laughs> yeah we want to be more up to date so we can be more real time and communicate better with people around us and we were at the RV show. That oh, was great. So much fun. Met awesome, awesome RVers. We met Less Junk More Journey. They're awesome. Um, Wild RV Life. They're fantastic. Craig Victoria, you're amazing. They're we so, they were you. so much fun to talk to. And oh, we saw we saw a town and a Shanti. Yeah, too. we saw the Adventure Bandits again. Always fun seeing we love them. them. They're actually in this campground right now with us, so that's fun. But um, it's always fun seeing people from Ohio that we know. But yeah, so get ready for more up-to-date content. 
better content, hopefully better videos. And more behind the scenes stuff on Instagram too. Like we're gonna be posting more of our recipes and yeah. what we've found, especially after talking to like other creators and other, um, even like brand manufacturers, we've had a lot of conversations with them as well while we were there. It, there's a missing part of our community yeah. that, that's the lifestyle, day-to-day -day stuff. People show the like, which is great because that's way needed too. What do you call it? People show the like the highlight stuff all the time, but you get you get a little bit less of the daily stuff. And hopefully, well, like for example, I posted a short when we very first started, of uh, a cleaning video yeah. that we did in the RV, and it just went. Yeah, but we're gonna. So be, you guys clearly want to see that. And we're also gonna be posting. We're gonna go back to the Wednesday and Sunday posting schedule. So mm -hmm. look for that going forward. Hopefully, we will be on time and everything will be good. And we're gonna be posting shorts uh, before every video, at least one or two of them, of kind of a lot, more of a preview style of thing. But it should be fun. And we've got a lot of plans. We're gonna be in Texas this summer. And then after our Texas, we're gonna be work camping. I'm gonna be work camping for the first time. We'll show you guys a lot of that too. And yeah. if you wanna get involved in it, we'll show you like how to get involved, your, um, he will help with the resume process, yeah. like things like that. We'll show you different things like that. And we'll it. show how the whole work camping experience goes a little bit. But after that, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon and mm -hmm. California. And we're already halfway across the country in Texas from here. So Y'all know Joshua Tree is my dream, state, yeah. dream park. We're getting there. We're going to Joshua Tree. That's definitely on the list. And Grand Canyon, Zion. We're gonna go to Disneyland in California yes. because we've been to Disney World, obviously, a bunch. Never been to Disneyland. My, uh, basically, sister-in-law got there before I did somehow. Yeah. And so. <laughs> I guess also what we're gonna do, so before we leave Florida, we've got a couple of cool things coming up. Um, hopefully going to Universal. And Carly wants to go to the Peppa Pig theme park. That the Peppa Pig theme park will probably be more we'll on do a, shorts yeah. or Instagram reels. We'll do a video on it just so people can see it that wanna see it. But we also understand that there's like a, yeah. Small demographic of people that don't want to just see like a huge in and out tour. Yeah. We love Peppa, but let's face it, it's not Disney. <laughs> also, look for a tour on our rig finally. Yes, and we're coming up with that too. The Airstream, unfortunately, is for sale because as much as we love our Airstream, it's tiny. Mm -hmm. And this is not tiny. And it's not that we just like, for those like, wait, 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 you haven't like tested it. We've tested both. We yeah. took the Airstream back down, what, in July? In July to Disney? Dis to Disney World. We about killed each other. It was <laughs> it was way small space for the three of us, plus Carly, or the, plus the Bailey, plus Franklin. was really upset, and the dog was extremely grumpy from yeah. us walking all over him. And the cat was just there. <laughs> also, look for a bunch of fun upgrade videos on the trailer, because yes. I'm going to be installing our... Well, I mean, we've been, like, kind of getting along with our internet solutions, but we've got a lot of content coming on how to have better internet on the road and things like that that we've learned. I work learned. completely remotely so yeah. it's crucial that we have um, like really reliable internet. You can't kind of can't just say hey I can be on for this team management meeting and then not show up. So we'll have solutions for you guys. Yeah but I'm gonna go show you the damage on the side of the trailer now um, from the tire blowout but we've got new tires now so we're good there but look, for, tires. look for a bunch of fun content but let's go take a look at this damage real quick. <laughs> So like I said, we did have our first tire blowout. And we had a flat tire, but it went flat while we were sitting. This one was an explosion. And right there, it ripped the whole side skirt off the trailer. So now, arguably this did not do that much damage. Um, it could have been a whole lot worse. The floor of the trailer is not damaged at all. But um, it blew the whole side skirt off the trailer. And it was a West Lake tire. It was not that old. It was only four years old, which is not horrible, but it needed to be replaced. Now there's Goodyear Endurance tires on there, all four. Um, but yeah, so that trip was an absolute <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> so much went wrong. But, um, but yeah, we're going to stick to our travel rules from now on for sure. But let me give you a good look at this. So you can see, luckily, it did not damage anything under here at all. Uh, it just... That tire was the one that let go, the rear. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of scuffing here, but it destroyed, it destroyed the side skirt. So we are in the process of getting this repaired now. Um, didn't really damage much though, luckily. Very lucky. Yeah, so now you've seen the damage. Luckily, like I said, not too bad. Um, 
we've already got the in the works to get it fixed already so um, please let us know in the content if this camera setup is good like if you like it more than our GoPro personally I'm a fan of this one way more yeah. like, I feel like I could use that very easily and do a ton more content this guys. this camera seems really good it does a lot better in low light that the GoPro really 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 struggled in so um, but yeah we are gonna hang out here for the evening uh, Going back please to our little roots and outside. look forward for much more content and please spread the word we love follow we love following along with all the other people and uh we hope to meet up with some people that and are following your us too, and a comment so we can follow them as well yeah if you've got good youtube channels put them in the comments i want to love meeting new people we love following new people yeah. even if just watching the videos so just let us know who y'all follow down there yeah but we'll see you guys later